Hello everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to my Beautiful Nights channel. So I've been playing with the Rondell beads that I've been getting from BB Craft a lot lately. And I recently designed a bracelet with them. I'll put a picture of the bracelet up now in case you didn't see it. And I will also put a link for that video tutorial down there below the video. So what I really loved about that bracelet is it was made with right angle weave, which is like my favorite stitch. And it was also extremely sparkly and blinged out. And so I wanted to make a blinging ring. And um, I was going to make it the same way that I did that bracelet, but I wasn't crazy about how that stitch was looking in a ring. So um, I changed the stitch up some and I came up with this ring here. And it is major blinging. It is so gorgeous. And even though this ring is big, it is really comfortable. Super comfortable. Here it is in another color mix, which is my favorite. Turquoise and bronze. It's so pretty. Now, um, I'm thinking that this ring might be a size 9 or 10. And I counted 88 uh, 2 by 3 millimeter rondelle beads. So if you're going to be needing a smaller size, you wouldn't need so many. But like I said, I got these from BB Craft huge bags. I think there was um, 10, 15, or 16 inch strands of beads and I cut them off the strands and I put them into the bags. But um, I'm going to have links to all of these rondelles down there below the video in case you want to go and get yourself some. And remember, if you spend $25 at BB Craft, you get free shipping to the USA now, which is awesome. So um, this is going to be a really fun, easy project. And by the way, if you can't get the rondelles. You can make this ring with um, 8 seed beads, but it's not going to be sparkly. And uh, the point of this ring is major bling. So um, it's up to you on what you want to do. You might also be able to use 3 millimeter round beads if you have them in your stash, but like I said, you will need a bunch of them. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. Here is the list of materials you will need to make this ring. You will need to cut 3 feet of 8 pound monofilament. You're not going to want to use 10 pound for this because it's too thick and you're going to have a hard time getting back through your seed beads. And you might actually be able to use fire line for this, but um, I really love to use monofilament for my rings because it makes them stiff and keep a nice shape compared to using thread. So look at this ring right here. It is totally round and that's because I used uh, monofilament. It keeps a round shape. It doesn't collapse like uh, thread does. So that's my reason behind that. But it's totally up to you. You can do what you want. And you're also going to need 2 by 3 millimeter rondelles or 3 by 2 millimeter rondelles. Whatever. Same thing. And you're going to need 11 OC beads. Now this ring I used Miyuki. This one I used Miyuki. This one I'm going to try Czech seed beads. So let's see how it goes. One more thing I want to tell you guys. This ring is actually a remake. I made this ring several years back with just seed beads. I did 10 o seed beads or 11 o seed beads. But um, I realized when I started working on this that I had already made this ring several years ago. I just did it with all seed beads. So um, it's really cool to see how different it looks with rondelles and it's so sparkly. It's a really neat ring. So um, I'll put a picture of that ring up if I can. It's been a long time. I might have to go uh, look really hard to find that picture. So anyways, I went ahead and I coated the ends of my monofilament with a permanent marker and I'm doing permanent marker instead of nail polish because nail polish does make the monofilament thicker and I need this to be thin. So one is red and one is black and I'm going to start by picking up a rondelle, a seed bead, a rondelle, a seed bead, rondelle. Okay, so I have three rondelles two seed beads. I'm going to pick up another seed bead and a rondelle. Okay, that's correct. That's what we should have right now. And then I'm going to pick up a seed bead and I'm going to crisscross through this one, my ends. Okay, put the string together and bring this bead down 
to the very center of the string. So we have this. I love these colors together. That's pretty. All right. Now I'm going to take my string, doesn't matter which side, and I'm going to pick up a rondelle. I'll do it with the red one. A rondelle. And by the way, the red always comes off before the black. So rondelle, seed bead. I actually need to like get to thicker ones. I keep getting the thin seed beads. And then a rondelle. And then a seed bead. And a rondelle. Okay, just like that. I'll let, I'll let those fall. On my other string, I'm going to pick up one rondelle. Okay, and then I'm going to pick up a seed bead and crisscross through the seed bead. Bring this down. And we should have this. Okay, now I have to go in this direction. So this ring is actually made with two needle right angle weave. I'm picking up one rondelle, a seed bead, a rondelle, a seed bead, a rondelle, let those fall. On the left side I'm picking up a rondelle, and then I'm going to pick up a seed bead and crisscross through the seed bead. Okay, so it's going to go to that in that direction now. So now I have to take this string, this one here, that's pointing down, and I have to pick up a rondelle, then I'm going to pass through that seed bead right there. Okay, and through that seed bead right there. Pull it through. With this string, I'm going to pick up a rondelle, a seed bead, and a rondelle. Okay, and then on the left side, I'm going to pick up one rondelle, and then I'm going to pick up a seed bead and cross through this. Bring it down. Pull it tight, and now we have this. Okay, I'm going to take this string here that's on the outside, and I'm going to work in this direction. So I have to pick up one rondelle, a seed bead. Me and my red marker is coming off fast. A rondelle, seed bead, rondelle. Okay, let those slide down. Then on my other side, I'm going to pick up one rondelle. And then I'm going to pick up a seed bead and crisscross through this. Bring it down. Now I have this. I'm going to take this string that's pointing down. Again, I have to pick up one rondelle and I have to go through the next seed bead. Okay, and then I pull the string and that rondelle pops into place. And then I'm going to take this string over here that's on the outside and I'm going to pick up beads with this one. I'm going to pick up a rondelle and one seed bead and one rondelle. Okay, and then on my left side, I'm going to pick up a rondelle, and then I'm going to pick up a seed bead and cross through it. Just like this, bring the bead down, pull it tight. This is what I have. Man, this color is so pretty. I love this rondelle. It's gorgeous. Okay, now I have to take this string here on the outside. And I'm going to pick up one rondelle. 
Now I'm starting a whole new row, so I have to pick up four rondelles. So on the outside string here, I'm going to pick up a rondelle, a seed bead, a rondelle, a seed bead. Oops, I have two seed beads. How do I do that? Rondelle. Okay, so it's like this. Three rondelles, two seed beads. Slide those down. Okay. Then on the left side, I have to get a rondelle. And then I'm going to pick up a seed bead and crisscross through this. Bring it down. So I now have this. Okay. I'm going to take this string here on the inside and I'm going to pick up one rondelle and then I'm going to go through this seed bead here. Okay, so that was the first unit that we made in the new row. Okay, so I picked up a rondelle there, went through there. So this one counts as our first one, and now I only need three rondelles to complete this one. So I have to take this outside strand here and pick up most of the beads with this one. So it will be a rondelle, a seed bead, a rondelle, slide those down. On my other string, I'm going to pick up a rondelle. Okay, and then a seed bead and crisscross through this. Alright, I'm going to do it one more time with you guys because I'd like to make sure that everybody can make this, especially beginners. So, we just completed a unit here, this row. I have to start a new row. So I'm going to take this string that's on the outside, not the one that's on the center, but the one that's on the outside, and I'm, I'm going to pick up three rondelles. So a rondelle, a seed bead, a rondelle, a seed bead, and a rondelle, like that. I'll let those fall. Okay. On the left side, I'm going to pick up one rondelle. I'm going to pick up a seed bead and crisscross through it. And by the way, this can also be made with bicones. If you have three millimeter bicones. Okay, this is what I have right now. I have to take this string here that's pointing down in the center and I have to pick up one rondelle and then I'm going to go through this seed bead here Okay, now I have to work in this direction, so I'm going to take this string that's on the outside and pick up one rondelle, a seed bead, a rondelle. On the left side, I'm going to pick up one rondelle. Okay, so slide those down. I have four here, there's going to be four. I have to pick up one seed bead crisscross through this. My sharpie has completely worn off now. Okay, this is what I have. So really, when I'm weaving like this, two needle right angle weave, I really don't pay attention at all to the colors on the ends of my monofilament. I'm just doing that for you guys. I'm always paying attention to what's going on right here. I could tell what I have to do next because of what's going on right here. So um, I'm going to leave you here. If you have any problems, you can just rewind the video and watch it again because I'm just repeating the same thing over and over. And um, you're going to want to wrap this around your finger and get it close to closing. And once you have it like this around your finger, then I'm going to show you how to close it up. So keep going until you get to the length you need. I am back and I'm wrapping this around my finger to show you guys. See how I have this little gap here? This is all that I need to close this up. So I have eight rondelles right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it together like this. OK, 
okay? I have to take the string here that's on the outer edge, not the inside one, but the outer edge one, and I'm going to pick up one rondel, one seed bead, that one's really tiny, I'll pick up a bigger one, and another rondel, okay, just like that, and I'm going to pass through this seed bead right here. Okay, close this up. Now it's going to be like we're zipping this shut. So this is what I have right now. So I'm going to take both of these strings and pick up one rondelle on each side. Then I'm going to pick up a seed bead, crisscross through this. pull it tight. I now have this. I'm going to take one of my strings, doesn't matter which, because I'm going to do the same to both, and I'm going to pick up a rondel. Okay, it's going to go right here. I have to pass through this seed bead. Okay, now I'm going to do the same on this side. One rondelle through this seed bead right here. Just like this. Now I'm going to pick up one rondelle on each string. I'm going to pick up one seed bead and crisscross through this seed bead. Good grief. Okay. Bring that bead down. And there is my clothes. So I'll Pull that apart there so you can see. Then pull these back down. That's what I have. Okay. Now I have to take one of the strings and go to the other side of the ring so that I can put my seed beads in. And I take the longer one. One's just a little bit longer than the other, not by much. And I'm going to zigzag in this direction to that side of the ring. So I have to pass through this rondelle that's right beside the seed bead that I'm Xing out of and then I have to go through the seed bead and I might need my tweezers to do this we'll see how it goes come on okay there's one and then I'm gonna go up through this rondelle that's right beside the seed bead So what we're actually doing is going at an angle like this through the beads. Now I'm going to go up through this rondelle. I might need my tweezers for this one. Okay, I came to the bottom, so I'm going to pull that through, and then I have to pass back up, so I'm going to go up through this hole right here, okay, and then I have to pass to the next rondelle, that's right beside that seed bead that I'm exiting out of, 
and then through this seed bead and I know this is loosening up but it's all going to tighten back up for us when we um, pull the strings and we get to our destination so going through there and then through this rondelle and through the next seed bead right there I'm going to pull this string tight and pull this one tight okay so now I have a string going in this direction and one going in this direction and this is how we want it because when I fill the sides in and then I have to tie knots on the first ring I made I had them both going in the same direction and I had to go through the center to tie my knots and um, I realized that I shouldn't have done that that I should have them going in opposite directions so okay I'm coming out of a seed bead here I'm gonna pick up four seed beads just like this and I'm gonna pass through this next bead so skipping over the two rondelles I'm gonna go in through the next seed bead pull it just like that we're just making like a little frame around the crystals pick up four again coming out right here skipping over two rondelles and going through the next seed bead just like that I'll pick up four again and through the next seed bead Is what I have so far looks good so this is pretty simple you're just gonna pick up four seed beads at a time and pass through the next seed bead you have to skip over the two rondelles I'm gonna do this all the way around and then I have to do the other side Alright, I'm now here at the close. This is what I have so far. I have to go through the first seed bead. And to do it easier, I squeeze this so I can pass through. Okay. Now I actually passed through two seed beads and I just wanted to go through one. So I'm going to take my bead all and pull my thread out. Okay took my thread out because I want to tie my knots in the rondelles I don't want to tie it in the outside here because my knots will be visible so to hide them I'm gonna go through the rondelles but before I tie knots I have to do this side so this side here is all done and now I have to do this side and fill in with the seed beads so just like I did on the other side I'm gonna pick up four seed beads at a time skip over two rondelles and pass through another seed bead Okay, I'm putting in my last row now. 
I have to go just through this seed bead because like I did earlier um, I want to tie my knots in the rondelles not the seed bead so just through the one pull that tight pull this side tight you can go ahead and try this on now okay I know this is going to fit me because I counted the beads and now I'm going to tie my knots and like I said, I tie knots in front of the rondelles because the hole's bigger. So I'm going to take this string, pass through this hole right here. I'm going to come out the side of the ring. And then I'm going to pass up through this hole. Okay. I'm going to go through here twice, through the loop twice, and I want my knot to fall right here. Okay, pull that down, pull it tight, then I'm going to pass through the rondelle. Pull the knot into the bead. Mine just disappeared. And now what I have to do is go through this seed bead. Now this might be tricky sometimes and you'll have to use tweezers to get through there so let's see. Also I find if you bend it that you won't be able to pass through it which is what I normally do. So this time I was letting the ring band stay straight and I was pushing the monofilament through it and what happens is it comes out the back side and then you can just grab it from here Okay, and then I'm going to pass it back up through the top, just like this, and then I'm going to tie another knot through this rondelle, pass through this bead and this bead, tie another knot here, go through this bead, go through this seed bead, tie a knot here, go through this bead, go through that bead, tie a knot there, and I'm just going to like snake my way through going in like an S pattern, tying my knots, and I tie like four knots with each string, and then I cut it. So um, after you finish tying knots on this side, like I said, four knots, um, pass through the beads. What I like to do is pass through the seed beads, not back through the rondelles. After I tie my knots, I go straight through the seed beads. And then um, I go to the other side, and I do the same thing, tying knots in the rondelles. And then I pass the rest of my tail through the seed beads. And you'll be all done. It's so pretty. Man, I think this one's my favorite. It's really gorgeous. Super sparkly. This is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, I will leave a link for the bracelet that I showed you guys earlier down there in the description bar. And I will also leave links for these beads and a coupon code down there in the description bar. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like this video, leave me a comment, subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. Make sure you click the bell button so you get notified when I upload new videos. And check me out on all my social media sites. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Thanks for watching.